Today we're going to talk about basic shapes, two-dimensional basic shapes that you will find in math as you go along. There are certain, certain ones that you need to know, and there are not very many of them, but you do need to know what they are, know what their names are, know what they look like. All right? Generally speaking, these basic shapes are called polygons. Poly means many, and gon means angles. And the angles are created by many sides. You can see they have many sides here. Polygons are many-sided shapes made up of line segments that touch. As you can see, all these line segments touch, and that creates our shapes. So let's take a look at some of the basic polygons. First of all, we see one that's very familiar to us. This is the triangle. Tri means three. So there are three angles and three sides to this, this triangle. And they come in different sizes and shapes, as you know. All right, next one is this one. We're familiar with this. It's called a rectangle. A rectangle is a four-sided shape. One, two, three, four. All rectangles have interior angles of 90 degrees. This very sharp corner right here is a 90 degree angle. So if it has 90 degrees, then it's probably going to be in a rectangle. Rectangles have two sets of parallel lines. If you don't know what parallel is, it is this line and this line going off into infinity and never touching. This line and this line is parallel. They go off into infinity and never touch. That's what parallel means. Now, look at this shape down here. As you can see, it's very similar to our rectangle, but it's not exactly like it. It's a square. However, let's take a look at the properties of a square. It's a four-sided shape, like a rectangle, 90-degree interior angles, like a rectangle. So a square is a rectangle. That's right, squares are rectangles. All squares are rectangles, but not all rectangles are squares. This one is not a square but this one is. A square has equal sides all the way around, and that's what makes it a square, all right? So squares are rectangles, but they're special kind. They have equal sides everywhere. All right, let's move on to our other shapes. This one has five sides to it, so that makes it a pentagon, five-sided shape, pentagon, penta. This is a six-sided shape, and that makes it a hexagon, a six-sided shape hexagon. There is a seven-sided shape. We're not going to worry about it right now, but we will worry about this one, an eight-sided shape. And we're all familiar with this. It looks like a stop sign. It is an octagon, an eight-sided shape. Next time you come to a stop sign, count the sides. You'll probably come up with eight. All right. Now, polygons are many-sided shapes made of line segments that touch. Regular polygons have equal sides. So if it's a regular polygon, then the sides will be equal. These two are equal, and these two are equal, and those two are equal down there, too. All right, so a regular polygon have equal sides. Now, there are such a thing as irregular polygons, and they have unequal sides. You can see it looks a little cattywampus there because the sides aren't equal. Still a polygon, line segments that touch. So you will see those, and we'll talk more about those in another video. All right, now, here's two other basic shapes that you better be aware of. This one is the oval, or ellipse, and this one is the circle, all right? These are very famous. Now, I want you to take a look at this polygon. It's called an aneodecagon, aneodecagon. It's a 19-line segment shape, aneodecagon. But take a look at the shape it's beginning to take. It's almost becoming a circle. Uh, what if we doubled this to 38 line segments? Would that be even more round? Maybe circles are just polygons with a lot, a lot of line segments. Who knows? All right, these are your basic shapes, and you need to know them. If you don't know them, then they're going to, um, you're going to have some trouble in math later. But they're pretty basic, and I think you can probably figure them out.